SBA Tour continues live and exclusive on Sports Australia. And something again puts him off. Oh, well, he gave it a chance. Oh, it's oh, it. Oh, yes. The greatest lineup from around the world battle it out in the Volvo German Open. Well done. Beautiful finish. He's happy too. I love it. My goodness, did you see that? The European PGA Tour live Saturday night at 10 on Sports Australia. Collingwood steadying down a little now. Still leading by 11 points. In they go, and it's a chance for Kevin Hall is back to that half back line. There's a free oh. kick being called in here. Now he's decided to ball, bounce it. Oh, no doubt, Butch. Oh, the ball held on to him, but there was another player held high. Hopkins would dive for that, couldn't get it. Wayne Richardson trapped. He's held and will get the free. Hopkins straight onto the ball in the roving division, replacing Gallagher. Wayne Richardson's kicking towards Thompson. Thompson gets the ball punched away by Mackay. Kevin Hall in there, chance here for Tuttenham. Tuttenham short passes to Thompson, who, who was about to play on, but elected to stay. Ooh, and a good decision. Can I? on. Out to McKenna. And the mark take. Beautiful oh, pass by Thompson. Yes. Beautiful lead and a glorious pass. No doubt about Big Tomo. Now, McKenna, who's kicked five, is 40 yards out, almost directly in front. One behind. He doesn't Gee, miss too many of those. Fair. You took the words right out of my mouth, Butch. Don't do it again. 10-8 to 9-2. It's not bad kicking by Carl, oh, is it? Not a great game. Exactly two goals clear now. And the game steadying down a little. John Gould oh. goes for the kick and it's a poor one. Dean gets right over the top of Quirk. Couldn't make it. Well, fair. Down to Wait. Wait races through that half-back line. Goes for the short one in here to Robert Wall. Backs up beautifully. Picks it up. Has held. Right on. Wait still with it. Gets through again. Loses it. Potter doing a very good uh, job there. Well Picks up by Wait. Wall. Up towards Eakins who flashed through there and took the mark and sent a half-back. Well, Peter Eakins, the former West Australian, has been rather quiet. As Ted Whitten pointed out at half time, he wouldn't be used to the pace of this and the pressure of finals, but he's uh, apparently coming good now. Silvani knocks the ball forward, but it's sharp by Wayne Richardson. Down on McKenna again. McKenna stalls. Still went over the top. McKenna's got an open goal. He kicks. There it is. That's his sixth. Collingwood take a three goal lead now. Ah! Great play by McKenna there, oh. Ted. For a big man, there's Bobby Rose up off his seat. Urging his players on now to get a big break on Carlton. Yes, Seven and a half minutes of the third quarter gone. For a big man, Butchie has a lot of pace, McKenna. Yeah, beautifully judged pace too. But still, that was an enormous snapshot there on his left foot with Rags Agul hot in pursuit. Remember, we mentioned at half-time, Ted, that the team so that gets the gets early away. break. That's right. Nichols hits back. A good big punch away by Greening. To Look Pitch. at this! Tudnam, Tudnam, 30 yards out dead in front. Oh, he's missed it. One point, and he's, it's, he's kicked about four behinds, Tudden, and one goal, least. four. 11-9 to 9-2. Collingwood slowly but surely drawing ahead. Jones coming onto the ball for Carlton. There's tactics here by Carlton. Ruckman going to both sides of the ground. There's the kick from Gill now. Out to Peter Jones in front, but there's Mackay, the centre half back for Carlton, taking another mark. Why, G has taken some marks. My word, as I said earlier, Terry he wanted to play with Collingwood too. That's right. There's the kick now. Punched away. Terry Wallace picks up. Goes for the short one. Looking for Twiggy Dunn. And he's taken it right on his chest in front of the member stand. He walked into that, didn't he? It took, it took me very McKenna easy. McKenna gives a quick lead. Oh, Dunn's ignored him. I think he should have too. Put the ball up high with Thompson lurking in the square. Oh, oh kick. Thompson moves in. Up they go. Oh. It's taken by Barry Gill, but he's got to get rid of it quickly. Across it goes to Kevin Hall, who's in the back pocket on the outer side. Kicks to the half-back flank. Up goes Greening. Oh, beautiful. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, just a boy. little bit too big for Crane then. Beautiful mark. Greening's low trajectory drop kick down four. They fly high. McKenna was in there, but our master Silvani comes out with it. Silvani of Carlton to the wing position on the outer side. Mark taken by O'Callaghan over crosswall. O'Callaghan now kicks in the centre. He's looking for Twiggy Dunn. And Collingwood starting to carve them up a bit. Their field kicking's been terrific in this third quarter. Kick now from Dunn. 
players by foot. Oh, Britt. A play taken there by Crane. Crane kicks forward. Looks like Wayne Richardson, who threw himself headlong at that ball and has marked. Carlton starting to feel the pressure now. Can they come back? That's a big question. Hello. There's the lead to Thompson and look at that. This is really football, top class football. McKenna tried the lead again, but Thompson will have a shot. He's kicked three, Thompson. He's about 45 to 50 yards out. You can say directly in front, it's on its way. It's swinging off, however, and one point results. Mike, there's a little bit more breeze out there now. You notice the players' jumpers blowing there, which makes it going to make it difficult for, as far as judgment is concerned in the air. Which end is it favouring, Teddy? I'd say it's favouring the scoreboard end still. Yeah, I wonder definitely. which uh, Collingwood is kicking at the moment. Waters won the toss and elected to kick up there. Gould kicks out again. The big men set themselves. There they go. Mackay again. He loves a grab in oh, the air, this fellow. That's a great he? mark, Mike. I've uh, mentioned this many times today. There's his kick now. Up towards centre half forward. Plenty of. Oh, 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 He's playing it. He's playing it all right. That's how well they're playing. There's Teddy Potter, centre half back now. Goes for the punt kick down in the centre of the ground. To the umpire. He must give him 15 yards for running over the mark. Well, consistency will, uh, by the umpire on this rule, has been good all day, although there hasn't been that many of them. Oh, he's been a most consistent umpire, no shadow of doubt. Potter getting another kick from the centre of the MCG. Up over centre half four, there's Mackay. Didn't hold this one, however. Cudman trying to pick up. Cudman a long hand pass, but it's intercepted by White. White gets it to Gould of Carlton. Gould gets his kick into the flank position. And Dean of Collingwood has marked. Dean tries a short one in here, but it's over Wayne Richardson's head. Cornley comes through. But it's taken by uh, Dean again. Dean kicks a long one down. Gould is a sit on McKenna. And Crosswell comes into mark. Crosswell's on the ball. There's a few changes here. There's his kick now, Croswell. Up the woods, Terry Waters flying from behind. Oh, yes. And a grand mark to Terry Waters. He's deep on a half-forward flank, more the wing position than anything. And kicking to the scoreboard in goal. Here it goes. It was a slightly missed kick there. And Fripp dropped in and took the mark and sent a half-forward. They're the marking beauty. very well. Played. That's the beauty of play. the forwards playing in front, Butch. It looked like a good pass, too, yeah, didn't that's it? that's right. Britt now from about 60 yards out. It's off the side of his boot. Mark taken by Crosswell. Well, Crosswell and Gould apparently are going to closely guard McKenna Butch by the look of it. Yes, it looks that. Well, it's negative tactics if that's the case, Mike. Well, that's the hanging around there as Jenkin marks. Now, this fellow starts taking his grabs. There'll be a bit of trouble for Carlton. The magnificent mark, uh, Jenkin. He's had a great season. There's his kick. Going down to the goal square. There's nobody home for Collingwood. But Crosswell dropped the mark. Oh! Cut through for a point. Reggie Thompson flashed through there. Crouch is moving in here. Free yes. kick. No score then. Free kick to Crosswell. Brent Crosswell of Carlton takes his kick out. Oh, look at all the Collingwood blokes. Couldn't miss it. There were four Collingwood players there and one Carlton player. Terry Waters. There's McKenna in the goal square. It's going down towards him now. Thompson goes up. The ball is knocked away. Here's a chance for Ragsy Gould to pick up. Gould does so. He takes his kick out towards a halfback flank on the members. Oh! And Waters takes a magnificent mark. Tottenham on his own. Waters taking a little too long to kick yes. this ball. Yes. Gary Gill drops a mark there. Thornley goes over. Picked up by Waite. Waite gets a hand pass out here in the no-man's land. Brian Quirk gets it hurriedly across to Jones. Jones now to uh, Ian Robertson. Oh. Ian Robertson of Carlton is in awful trouble. He gets his kick. It's a hurried one. Close to the boundary line on the fall. It's over. On the fall, and Ted Potter will take it. They're right off Carlton. Jesselinko right out here on the half-forward line. Wall's going to full forward. Jesselinko to centre-half. The kick down forward for Collingwood. Oh, right. Don't bother looking. It's Mackay oh. as sure as God made apples. Oh, and he certainly knocked Barry Gill about too in taking that mark. Mackay takes his kick now. 
down towards the center. Higgins knocks the ball away from Jesselenko, but Jesselenko will take the free. Jesselenko plays on rapidly. Up the Robert Walls, Nichols lurking around that pack. The ball punched away by Walls. Hand pass to Higgins. Higgins gets the kick out the wall to three. Jesselenko comes through. Players slipping over. Price tackled solidly by Jesselenko. He gives hey, it to Hogan. Oh. in trouble. Play on. He's tackled again. Oh, no. Dean has it for Collingwood, but the free kick must go back to the half-back flank. Young Hopkins didn't have the ball then when he was grabbed. I didn't agree with that free kick. Dean now to take this kick when they get it back. Collingwood steadying down, but I believe, Teddy, that you're right about that breeze that's assisting Collingwood a great deal more than Carl. I would think so. Their overhead marking has improved a lot, too. There's Dean kicking the ball in towards the centre of the ground. Up they go, a big pack. Nobody can mark. Down it came to Price. Price over to Greening. Greening tackles solidly. Play on. The ball smothered over there by Greening. But it's Mackay who flashes through from the back line. Kicks a long one. Big Nichols flies high. Hits down a chance for Adamson. He breaks clear very nicely. Over to Eakins. Eakins now takes his kick up towards centre half forward. Thompson is there. The big fella flies, but it's knocked away from him. Who's going to pick it up? Eight of Carlton is in there. And there'll be a ball up between the centre of the ground and centre half forward for the Magpies. They're 20 points in front. The knock away comes here. The prize, prize to uh, Max Richardson. Max Richardson for McKenna. Here he goes. Yes. He'll be paid it. It's a long way out, Mike. Look at the short one here. No. He's gone for a bit of a run, McKenna, he's kicked it. So, at seven, seven goals to McKenna. What a beautiful kick, Butch. Yeah, it was a good decision to run on there, oh, team, yes, but he... a bit of extra momentum and got more yardage. 16 and a half minutes into the third quarter, Collingwood 26 points up. What a lead, that's a good break. I don't think they can catch it. Butch. No, no, that... Uh, oh, I, I'm I... not selling them out. Not yet. As a centre bounds, Jones up with Dunn. The ball is hit down. Hopkins is in there. Picked up by Peter Jones. Kicked up forward to Robert Walls. Now playing at full forward. Out comes uh, Adamson. Adams is in there. Uh, picked up by uh, Collingwood players again. Jesselenko gets out to Walls. Walls falls to the ground with the ball. Gets out to Sergio Silvani. He goes for the short one. It's a missed kick. Tully tries to break through. He can't do so. Oh, look at the pressure being applied. Oh! Play on, says the umpire. Oh, look at this. Umpire's pulling up. And a free kick will go Collingwood's way to John Greening, the Collingwood wingman. Greening uh, between centre half back and the centre of the ground. Takes his kick. Oh, it's a nice one up towards centre half forward. Thompson flying from behind. Uh, handicaps himself a bit there. Hand pass goes out to Kevin Hall. Hall now down towards centre half forward for the Blues. Jackson's in there, takes it, gets a hurried kick. It's smothered by Eakins of Collingwood, however. Ball picked up by Adamson. Jackson comes through again. Through comes Tully. Silvani of Carlton dives oh. on top of it. Back to Jackson. He's scragged. Jackson's free. Well, he certainly earned that free kick. Oh, full credit to him. By well, Giante hurtling in, Ted. Why were they? It's a particularly tough quarter, this one. Well, Carlton have to score. They must get a score on the board now. Up comes Jackson. Oh, he's a good 75 yards out. He's put it in the teeth of Dolls. Could have been a mark to Walls. And it's forced through for one behind. By G. Walls didn't have much support there from his colleague. No, uh, none. There. He was doing battle with three Collingwood defenders. Mind you, that ball tricked them a bit, Teddy. It was a very long kick. That's a short one. The short one from fullback out to Max Richardson. On his own, runs around the wing position, kicks it out to the centre wing. Crane is there, but oh, coming from behind. Peter Jones, Carlton, picks it up. <laughs> Greening out to Croswell. Croswell with the ball now. Dodges around players to Teddy Hopkins, the 19th man on the ground for Carlton. A left foot kick to Jesselenko, but Robbie Walls, who has been switched to full forward uh, by Carlton. He elects to run also with a drop punt kick up towards the goals. The umpire standing there at full points. A very handy goal to Carlton. Well, and a good to, long kick too. Up to date, that move has been successful, Butch. Yes. I think it's brought Jezelenko out a bit more into the play too. He uh, takes a devil of a lot of looking after. 12-10 to 10-3. Now that's two goals, 7-3-1. Collingwood are leading by three goals, one. 19 points. And we are 
19 and a half minutes into the third quarter. There's the bounce. Taken there by Crosswell. A hurried kick sends it uh, out towards the flank on the men to stand side. A chance here for Adamson. He's in front of Jackson. Jessalek goes after him. Price of pulling the takes it, however. Price now down forward. Plenty of Carlton defenders there. And Mackay, who's had a mammoth number of marks. Well, good switch this, moving him to centre half back. Kick, kick goes high into the centre of the ground. Up they go. And the mark to Barry Price, who's been a very valuable play. Beautiful kick, this fellow. In the centre half forward. Up goes Gillen Marks very coolly in defence. He's at centre half back. His kick now will go up towards the uh, half forward flank. It made the wing to be exact. Down it comes Silvani. Wayne Richardson beats him for pace there. Gets round onto the left foot. Kicks deep out to the flank and the mark to Conbrick. Yes, they're placing the ball much better than Carlton. Britt plays on. Kicks oh, into the man on the mark. Coming. And look, it's going to happen all the way. And a mark to Tottenham from a nice pass from Wayne Richardson. Beautiful disposal by, Tutt uh, by uh, Richardson. Both Tottenham the Richardson now. brothers kicking the ball well. Tottenham a long way out. Sends it on its way. It's in the goal square. They fly. Waters and Crosswell. Crosswell comes out with the ball. Plays on immediately. Kicks it out towards uh, Gary Crane. Who's on the half-back flank on the outer side. Crane now takes his oh. kick towards the centre. Big Jenk and a pulling with smothers it. Wayne Richardson comes in there. They're smothering them. Ball. Yeah, you're right, Ted. Holding the ball. Thornley to take it. Bert Thornley of Carlton runs around the man on the mark. Tries a hand pass across here, but oh, it didn't come off. Greening for uh, Collingwood has the ball. Greening now to the half forward flank on the other side. Paid the Bitters mark. there, and he's being paid the mark. Difficult for McKenna to lead there, Mike. They've got him pretty well blocked off, Teddy, haven't they? You were right. Croswell's down there to do a job. A kick now from Brett into the forward pocket. Up goes McKenna from behind. Tudnam, a left foot snap by Tudnam. One point. He's kicked five behinds, I think. One five. Mike, don't you agree? This is negative tactics by Carlton with Croswell yes. down there. They must score. They must attack. No good sitting there watching Collingwood gain a big lead. They must put scores on the ball. Well, they're leading by 2-8 on the scoreboard. There's a kick in. Greening taps the ball down. Hall snaps it up. Races through the half-back line. He's a player I've seen bring Carlton back on many occasions. The ball in towards centre-half. Well, Hopkins has got a break. Racing into an open goal. And he's... Full point. That's what they want. I warned you. You're about to get Carlton away. That's what they want. 23 minutes played in the third quarter. 1-8 is the difference. Collingwood still leading, but boy, you never won a game here. Not at the MCG, Teddy, in September. No, I agree with you, but I still think that uh, with the break that uh, Collingwood had, it's going to take a lot out of Carlton to get to them. As Crosswell with the ball now, kicks it down forward again, but coming out as Tully, right across to the centre-half back position and Mark safely on his chest. Tully doing a good job in the back pocket for Collingwood. Goes for the punt kick. Oh, it's a long kick. Two up the centre half forward. Jenkins is there. Croswell from behind. Down to Thompson. Thompson over the Brit, but Barry Gould coming out like the rock of Gibraltar. Barge is his way through. A punt kick down the forward line. Tully's there again. Hopkins, Walls, and Clifton doing battle with the ball now. Clifton taps it over. Can't juggle the ball. And over the boundary line it goes for a throw in on the other side of the ground. Um, with the pressure still applied here by both sides. Into the third quarter. 21. Five minutes, Mike. 24. There's a throw in now. Jenkins up with Jones. Tapped down. And a big punch by Jenkins goes out to Barry Price. A beautiful player in the centre. Long kick up the centre half forward. Tuddy's there. Oh, look at this. He can't beat them all. Waters takes it over the back. Oh, he took that away from them. Over the Brit. Brit goes for the big kick. But Kenner doing better with Gould. He can't judge the flight of the ball. He's pushed. And a free kick free will kick. be played. No, it will not. Play on for the umpire. That's over the line for throwing. For a boundary Gee, throwing. I thought he blew his whistle, Teddy. It looked the obvious thing to do, Mike. Forward pocket for Collingwood on the member stand side. The Magpies are kicking up to the scoreboard end. Thompson goes in there, but it's Mackay who knocks it away. Taken by Gilly, grabbed by Tudnam. Tudnam has the ball knocked away from him. Ball picked up here by Kevin Hall. Kevin Hall takes his kick out towards the flank position on the member stand side. Taken by Ian Robertson. Look at the struggle. Max Richardson with it. A long hand pass towards Britt. But it's going down into Carlton's territory almost. 
picked up by Thornley. Thornley gets his kick, Adamson takes it for Collingwood on the half volley. Here's big jerker, Jenkins for Collingwood. He kicks down forward. No marker orders. Here comes Mulcair of Carlton. He's in a lot of trouble, but the kid knocks the ball away and he's getting a free. And Barry Price is down in with the, the uh, centre half back position with definite cramp. Hard, tough game this. Any wonder he's got the cramp. In they go. Potter from behind tries to punch away. O'Callaghan down to Max Richardson over to Greening. Greening's kick goes out wide to the flank and Barry Gill comes through. Very solid back line play. His kick goes deep under the oh, flank. Yes. Nilly, Nilly had the mark. Plays on. O'Callaghan comes in and helps. The kick going up towards Britt. And Britt steadies down. Play on. He was off. He called play on. A little bit hard on the boy. Kevin Hall races up the centre of the ground with the ball now looking for Walls. Walls comes out, can't mark the ball. Jesse Lanko picks up a big handball to Teddy Hopkins, a minor man. He can't do anything with it. He's juggling now. Bellatus has a shot for goal. And a through for another goal with Carlton. They're back in business. That's two goals to Teddy Hopkins. Since he's come on five minutes after the start of the third quarter. We're in the time on. 25 and a half minutes gone of the what a game third quarter. Is. Honestly, eight points the difference. Eight points the difference have come from a 26-point deficit. That right, Butch? Yes. So eight points. A good comeback by Carlton. There's the bounce now. Nichols up with Jenkins, and a free kick will go to Jerker Jensen. Yeah. But Collingwood Rupton. Nichols tried to cheat on that one, but Crouch was uh, a bit more determined than he thought. Here's the kick by Jenkins, now going right up towards the full forward area. In goes Dunn. The ball punched away from him by Wake. Down to Wayne Richardson. He snaps a shot at goal. It's wide. And it'll go over the line on the fourth. Gould to take the kick in. Eight points to difference. Into time on. Great fight back by the Blues. Oh, gee, there's a lot of tired footballers out there at the moment. Will it take too much out of Carlton picking up this deficit? Only time will tell, Edward, my boy, as the kick is taken by Gould. In comes Big Jenkins, but in front of him is the old maestro, John Nichols. Big Nick takes his kick with a wing position. Britt is there. Oh, couldn't hold a mark and got unloaded for his trouble. Through comes Lee Adamson of Collingwood. Adamson now tries a short one, almost knocked Twiggy Dunn over. Dunn now turns around, kicks down to the goal square. Look, oh, McKenna swamp. Wayne Richardson comes over the ball, can't go far. Mackay gets a hurried kick in. They're racing for it in all directions. Boom! Jessalinko's at centre half back. Jessalinko kicks into the centre, and Lee Adamson marks. He was under the hammer then, Jackson, uh, Mike. Lee Adamson now takes his kick up towards centre half forward for Collingwood. The players come out to meet him. A good mark by Barry Gill. He's a very reliable player. He's this played fellow. very well in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Price has gone to the forward pocket for Collingwood and uh, Britt in the centre. They struggle for the ball there in the centre of the MCG. Clifton, who's a way out of his ground. Goes down and holding the ball, it goes to Thornley. Bert Thornley of Carlton with the ball. He tries a hand pass to Jessalenko, this could be dangerous. Jessalenko steadies, he shoots at the big ones, look at this. Either a goal or a mark. He's playing the goal. He's playing the goal. It's a goal. Two points of difference. Gee, what a and what a, eight minutes gone. And Butch, uh, that was uh, Robbie Walton. That was Jessalenko's sixth goal. Jessalenko kicked six goals. And what a smart piece of football in the time off by uh, Thornley. Bad, Instead bad of having pass. his kick, using a little bit of his nails, handballing over to Jessalenko. Back in the centre, the ball is bounced here by umpire Jeff Crouch. Thompson on the ball, tries a uh, hit out. He tries to pick it up too, but he's uh, well grabbed. There'll be another ball up. Another ball up in the centre of the MCG. It's an amazing back in game, business. This, isn't it? Like 10 minutes ago, we had Collingwood winning That's by right. a streak. I warned you not to give them away. Tudman tries to knock the ball away, but Thornley comes in there. Thornley has possession. He swings around. Kicks down to the half ball plank on the outer side. Adamson is there, but it's Robertson's mark. Carlton starting to burn up now. Collingwood run around on the ground. There's Robert Walls looking for the lead. It comes down towards him now. Walls number 42. Got the way by Clifton. Taken by Jackson. Jackson kicks. There it is. Colton are in front. Colton in front. Look at the rushes. 
Carlton, 14-3, 87. What a fantastic... 